Hi, how's it going? <laughs> um, it's about 12.30 at night. Finally, a bunch of people have posted sad, sad videos, and I'm very excited about that. Because um, I'm not going to lie, I check often, and I do have, uh, have it set up to alert me get an email alert when someone posts a new sad video although I find that a lot of times Google doesn't send me the alerts until like two days afterwards so it's kinda of pointless um, uh, yeah so I check quite a bit because I have a lot of free time right now and. Um, was not disappointed tonight. Um, Sam Levine, I completely do the exact same thing. Um, I will very, very regularly stay in my car. Not always drive around. Sometimes if I get home while a song's still playing that I want to hear, um, I'll just sit in my car after I park and listen. Um, and the other crazy thing is a lot of times I'm just listening to my iPod, which means I could just pause it, go inside my house, and play it some more. But something about being in the car. Um, in fact, last summer, I was sitting at home one day, and I was I kind of got cabin fever. And I uh, was like, I'm just going to get in my car and go drive up Mulholland Drive and listen to my radio. And, um, because Mulholland starts, like, really close to where I live. And, uh, so I did. And it was like, you know, the sun was probably about an hour from being down. It was a magic hour. It was beautiful. It was summer, so it was really warm. And it was driving with the windows down. I drove until there was no more Mulholland Drive left. For those of you outside of LA, that means nothing, but Mulholland's kind of a long, windy road up in the hills. I drove until there was no more Mulholland Drive, and, um, and so then I took it to the freeway and ended up in Santa Barbara, <laughs> which was, you know, a couple hours worth of driving. And, um, but it was just so awesome that I didn't want to stop. I love, I love road trips. I love driving in my car. A lot of people hate driving. I love driving. Um, maybe that's part of the reason I go to Joshua Tree so often. It's beautiful there, but I also love the drive. So, um, that's that. I completely... Uh, know how you feel. Kind of had a bummer of a day in that I went to an audition as I was getting out of my car. Um, my phone fell on the ground. My iPhone. With the case on it. And, um, you know, if you've been following me, completely shattered. I don't know if you can see this at all completely shattered. Um, it works great still. I have a friend who's an Apple or a Mac genius or whatever you call them. An Apple genius. <laughs> a friend who's a Mac genius. And um, he can look at it but not till Saturday. So I can live with this until Saturday at least. Um, that's it. I like when you guys leave messages. Um, so please keep doing it. It kind of keeps me sane. Um, and also we should all have a, um, a sad, sad camping trip. <laughs> we should all, this summer we should all just like go camp somewhere. Or maybe get a cabin. Maybe rent a big cabin or a house on a lake and we'll do like, um, the big chill or something. Um, uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of free time on my hands. Fuck.
This is so annoying. <laughs>